My friend, my friend, I got a great request for you. Tom Waits. Sorry it took me so long to get to this, but God is. This is in the key of G major. G major, A minor, a B minor, C major, D major, E minor. We're going to be doing an F sharp diminished. Now remember, you can always play the fifth of that chord, which is what? G, A, B, C, and D as a D dominant seven. And it kind of functions as your diminished. We'll talk about that in another video. If you like the way that I teach, please subscribe, comment below, and interact with other comments on the uh, channel there. Keep it kind of PC. This is a family-friendly site. And uh, looking forward to hearing from you. This is how I teach G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished. Could be a D7. Or that F sharp. If you're struggling on those, try bar up the second fret. Put your second finger on the third fret of the C string. And then do double bookends. That means your third and fourth finger are going to be playing two strings. Same time. Really cool. If you were to move this all the way down, it would work all the way to there. So you have the idea of taking chords like this and make them functionally any diminished that you have. There are other ways to play different types of diminished, half diminished, full diminished. But the concept is the diminishes are lending leading tone. However, that's enough for theory because it ain't in this tune. And I don't want to bore you with this stuff. So this song basically is going to be moving in a slow dynamic, a lot slower than what I talk in, and a very slow tempo and a very slow rhythmic pattern, like a... D major to a G major to an A major sus4. What I'm doing is playing the A major, not really playing with the three fingers like most people do. You can't put that pinky on the D note on the third fret of the B string. However, if you play that with one finger, you can get a lot more fingers out there to hit a higher note or get a six nine chord. We'll go over that later or check out any video that explains that on my channel or any others. So for here, we're gonna have a, uh, and I hope that I don't fall in love with you. D major, G major, and A major. We're gonna keep doing that over and over again, but remember to throw that sus. No matter what finger you're playing with, I wouldn't suggest a pinky, that's a little weird. But when we're going through there, uh, cause I fall in love just makes me feel so blue. G major plays D up on top, E minor passing A. Did we follow that? Uh, D major, G major, E minor, A, D. That A major, just a passing chord. It could be just one note, but when you're playing with yourself, it makes a lot of sense to throw that in rhythmically. It moves the piece. Um, moving there, there. Uh, when the music plays and I display your heart for me to see. Well, I had a bear, and now I hear you're calling out to A major with the sus me. And I hope that I don't fall in love with you. There's a little bit of movement there with the D sus too, means there's an E over the top of your D major, and then you throw that hammer on back down there for the F sharp. You can put the G over the top for G sus4, play around with that if you want to, but uh, it's that kind of feeling you get from uh, the open sussiness. Feels like it's hovering above the chord. Goes through the song pretty much the same way. There are dynamics in here, so if you're Tom Waite fan, go through those. Try and figure out where the loud parts are, the quiet parts are. I'm just going to rock it out towards the end and tell you how the best part of the song for me is. Once you get through all the stuff, even the la 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 la, Tom's weighty. The last verse has um, the guy and the guy with is up and split your chair next you is free and I hope that I don't fall in love with you when it goes through that last verse and he says I hope that I don't fall in love, I think that I just fell in love with you that is the pinnacle point of the song so that's where you want to drop down the dynamics so if I have a yes I'll have another Walk it up, maybe. A, B, C sharp. 
to a blaring D major. You can even throw in a type of D major, which incorporates the B minor F sharp. Um, what is that? The F sharp there for the bass. And I think that I just fell in love with you. End on that one D and then you're going to have a a very, very great way of bringing down the dynamics and move into your next song. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the way I teach. If you like, subscribe. If not, there's plenty of resources out there. Throw a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you. Aloha!